remind you about hexadecimal. If I'm counting a hexadecimal, I start at zero, and I just keep going to up, 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 until eventually when I get to nine, that turns into A. Why? Because why not? So if you see 10, think of that as, that's, if you see A, think of that as 10. B is 11, C is 12, D is 13, E is 14, F is 15. But then when I get to 15, what I do is I run out of digits that I can use. So I go to the next digit, which would be zero, and I carry one over. And I keep going and going and going and counting. So eventually I'll get to one F, and then that transitions over to 20. If I get to three F, that'll transition over to 40. But those have different relationships because this is a base 16 system versus a base 10. But to show you how you can convert from a base 10 to a base 16 system, so go from decimal to hexadecimal, I start an equation over here. And say I have 573. What I need to do is first divide by 16. If you plug this into your calculator, you'll get something like 35 point something, 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 something. Ignore the point something, 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 and just look at 35. Go back to your first grade days of long division and say 35 times 16, and that will get you 560. And if I subtract it, this gives me the remainder. So remember in binary, we had the R, and we would put a remainder out here. Do that again. So bring that over here, and then take this number down to here, and do long division once again with 16. This goes into 35 twice. So if you put that in, you'll get two point something, 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 something. So I take this times this, and this will give me 32. Subtract, that'll give me a remainder of three. So once again, remainder goes here, and I take this value down to here. And then I do long division one more time. 16 divided by, 16 goes into two, zero times. And if I do that, zero times this will give me zero and gives me a remainder of two. And now I'm complete. And just like with binary, I go for I, my last digit, this is my most significant bit, and go back and if I do 23, 13 is D, this is the decimal and this is the hexadecimal equivalent to binary. So, and you can do this with any number. The good thing about hexadecimal takes less digits to do something else. Well, let's say I wanted to change this into binary. Well, that's really, really easy. Because all we gotta do is, is know what the binary form of two is. So let me do this over here. So if I want to change this into binary, so I have uh, 23, uh, 2, 3, D, 203 D, uh, 2, 3, D. Separate it into, into four, this into the binary, uh, eight, uh, 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 four bit binary form of two. And if we know what two is, that's gonna be zero, one, just put two digits in front of that, okay? I'm gonna erase this. What's this in binary? Zero, zero, one, one, right? And then D is 13, so now we gotta figure out what binary 13 is, which is, so eight, four, yeah, there it is. So it would be one, one, and I said 13, zero, one. I hope I did that off the top of my head fast. So, because eight, four, one, yeah, that's it. So this here, so zero, zero, one, zero, 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 one, 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 base two equals two, three, D, base 16, or five, 73, base 10. And if you convert that to that, you can see if that will work. And remember, it, so, but say I gave you a, a hexadecimal number, and I want to convert that into decimal. So this is, oh, not 3D. This is a hexadecimal number. I know it looks like ace, but it is a hexadecimal number. And how we would do this is just like we would do in binary. So let's see these, these placeholders here. Think of this as 16 to the zero, 16 to the one, and 16 to the two. And we just would multiply the equivalent. 
So we know A equals a 10. So 10 times 16 to the 2 plus C is equivalent to 12. 12 times 16 to the 1 plus uh, E equivalent to 14 plus uh, times 16 to the 0. And if I simplify that, that will be 10 times 256 plus 12 times 16 plus 14. Do the multiplication, add together, and you should get 6,042 base 10 equals ace base 16. So that's how you go from hexadecimal. This is how, this is how you go from decimal to hexadecimal, hexadecimal to binary, and then we go from hexadecimal to decimal base. And again, if I want to convert this into binary, just got to find the equivalent. For, so 10, the binary equivalent to, to 10 would be um, uh, 8 and 2. So that's, that's 10 right there. C is 12. So 12 would be 8 and 4. So it would be 1, 1, 0, 0. Uh, and E is 14. And that would be 8, 2, and 4. So it would be 1, 1, 1, 0. So if you do this is the binary. This is the binary equivalent to that. Again, it's just breaking things down, break each one of these down to do the equivalent. Kind of like doing binary code to decimal, but that's another story for another day. But that's how we convert.